this road down, it goes down into the old stone house at the old place marker for the Forest Service. And then there's trails that lead in, but it's it can be kind of treacherous. They jump up and down. <laughs> So here's this Pantia uh, in Ghana, which I collected here. This is this is that's crazy. I, I just put him in a group and say this sounds like in the Comanche, something like that. He's the one that you can get at. So they they probably <laughs> I love learning about the uh, flora of this area. I like watching my daughter, you know, identify plants. That's a real thrill. Little tiny plant that looked like under the uh, uh, scope eyelids, mm -hmm. like an orchid. You know, a little red, a little purplish orchid. Crucifixion thorn. Colbalina spinosa. We are seeing this rich mix of plants from the Chihuahua Desert that most people wouldn't think are desert plants. She just came out of the spring area and saw uh, maidenhair fern, and we saw uh, ash trees and fruit trees, and it uh, is not what comes to mind when people say the Chihuahua Desert. A hog snow snake. And I put it in a bag and gave it to the nature park. Seeing the, I believe it was the Roos Trilobata, and taking some of the berries and sucking on them. It was so tasty and so delicious. Um, so highlight. You don't have to be an expert or a scientist to, to enjoy the things around you. Yes, this is my first botany <laughs> workshop. And it's probably overwhelming because of all the technical verbiage. I'm loving all of the plants, the nature, and the quiet, yes. and the very fresh aromas. Birds also. I refuse to be seen over Canada. And it's a very rare moss. <clears throat> so I wrote a little article. Dis discover rediscovery of a little moss, Fisidens littleii, from a little sinkhole in southern New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs>